In this video, I will consider one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. Obtain Thevenin's equivalent circuit across terminals A, B for the circuit shown below and find power dissipation in load resistance 4 ohm. This is the given circuit. Here, we have to find the Thevenin's equivalent across the terminals A and B. Later, we have to find the power dissipation in load resistance 4 ohm resistance. Since this circuit consists of dependent source, here we have current dependent voltage source. It is dependent on current Ix where current Ix is flows through 6 ohm resistor. So if the circuit consists of dependent source, we need to calculate three parameters. One is Thevenin's voltage Vth or also known as open circuit voltage VOC. Then we have to find short circuit current ISC. Then we have to find Thevenin's resistance RTH. We need to calculate these three parameters to get the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So first I will try to get Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So I will try to find VTH. So to find VTH, this load resistance should be removed from the circuit. So if I remove this 4 ohm resistor, then terminal A and B will become open. So here I have removed 4 ohm resistor. Now terminal A and B is open. Now we have to find voltage between these two terminals that is known as VTH or VOC, open circuit voltage. So here we can observe that voltage across AB is nothing but voltage across 6 ohm resistor, which is nothing but VTH. So here there is only one loop. So current in the loop is Ix itself. Now let me find Ix by applying KVL to this loop. So apply KVL to this loop, I can write 20 is equal to, so voltage across this is 4 into Ix, that is 4 Ix. Here we have voltage source that is minus 6 Ix plus 6 Ix. Simplifying that is 20 is equal to, we have 4 Ix, here 6 Ix and plus 6 Ix will get cancelled. Therefore, Ix will be equal to 20 by 4 that is nothing but 5 Amp. So, we found Ix. Now, Vth is nothing but that is Vth is equal to voltage across 6 ohm resistor that is 6 into Ix that is 6 into 5. Therefore, Vth is equal to 30 volts. So, thus we have calculated Vth that is we have found the first parameter Vth. Now, let me calculate Isc. So, to calculate Isc, we have to short the terminal A and B. So, for the same circuit, we have to short terminal A and B. If we short terminal A and B, current will start flowing the shorted path. That current is known as Isc. So, let me short terminal A and B. So, let me short terminal A and B. So, if I short this, the current will flow. That current is known as Isc. So, now in this circuit, we can observe that AB is parallel to 6 ohm resistor. So here, uh, since AB terminals are shorted, no current flows in 6 ohm resistor. That is, no current flows in 6 ohm resistor means here the current Ix will be equal to 0 amp. No current flows in 6 ohm resistor. That is, Ix will be 0. If Ix is 0, here we have Ix current dependent voltage source that is 6 Ix. This will also become 0. So, voltage source 0 means this will be short circuited. It will become short circuit. So, if this is short circuit, then here we have only one loop as no current flows in this 6 ohm register. So, this entire is a single loop. This is single loop. Now, apply KVL to this single, single loop. I can start from here. That is 20 is equal to voltage across this is. So, current ISC will flow in this circuit. So, it will be 4 ISC. So that's all. Therefore, Is will be equal to 20 by 4, which is nothing but 5 amps. So therefore, Is will be equal to 5 amps. So thus, we calculated two parameters, that is Vth and Isc. Now, Rth is nothing but Vth by Isc. So therefore, let me calculate Rth. Rth is equal to Vth divided by Isc, that is Vth is 30, Isc is 5, therefore Rth will be equal to 6 amps.
now let sorry this is 6 ohm therefore thevenin's equivalent circuit is shown below so in thevenin's equivalent circuit vth will be in series with rth that is this is vth will be in series with rth so these are the terminals are known as ab so this is thevenin's equivalent circuit here vth value is 30 volt rth is 6 ohm so now to this circuit we have to connect 4 ohm register that is load resistance so let me connect 4 ohm here so now we have to calculate the current dissip power dissipated in 4 ohm register so let me assume current through this loop is i here we can see that i will be equal to 30 divided by these two are in series that is 10 which is equal to 3 amp that is current in this circuit is 3 amp so now the question asked is power dissipated in 4 ohm register that is power dissipated in 4 ohm register is nothing but p is equal to i square into r that is i is 3 that is 3 square into 4 which is equal to 9 into 4 therefore p is equal to 36 watts so this is the power dissipation in 4 ohm register thank you for watching